increasing emphasis on sustainability and ethical practices. Hopefully, it's a good news for everybody. It's not for one section of the industry or the other section of the industry, be it a mining industry or where you have to go to a mine and get lithium out for a battery manufacturing where child slavery may happen, right? So the whole AI-driven ESG strategy, of course, it will impact consumer behavior as you feed more data into the AI algorithms. It will also help you and the brand loyalty. At the end of the day, let's take a number. You have X trillion algorithms running in a human brain. Right now it's X minus Y and it's a positive number. X minus Y is a positive number. So it's AI is not there like the human brain yet, but it will overcome at some point of time. The AI algorithms will be so powerful that it will overrun the human brain. But I still feel that humans will make decisions to feed more intelligence to the AI machine. Now, taking all this, there is good news, of course, that we'll get some free time to innovate more, hopefully. And the bad news is that we'll be too dependent on all this. How to exactly be in the middle? I give an example of the game theory in The Prisoner's Dilemma. How do you work on a prisoner's dilemma and really figure out what is right, what is wrong for my business? So do we need automation 100%? More automation means more carbon emission. And we can talk about green IT later on, but there is a challenge to the green IT or a sustainable IT. So those decisions as a leader we have to take, and that's a culture, that I'm a leader of an organization. And do you really think that I will forcefully automate all my operations if not even needed? I would not do it because there is always an empathy that needs to be carried on. That's where the decision-making comes into play. And that's so important to have a level-headed leader and make sure that the leader understands the data, understands ESG, understands AI, understands business transformation, understands people, understands the value chain. That's very important because you cannot solve the entire problem as we talked about this, but how the value chain would look like. I feel that running an ethical and sustainable business along with AI and ESG, and of course, impacting the brand loyalty, I still will say that it's a leader's decision. And the good news is that the leader decision can be amended and appended by a platform like Amplify 4.0. So we do these S part of E, S, and G, which is social. And how do you do diversity, equity, and inclusion? How do you make sure that your resources and your people in a plant are rightly balanced out? And how do you make sure that you have a very good relationship between your union workers and what your automation you're bringing on in the plant? How do you negotiate that? It all comes from a leader's mind, decision-making done on a platform like Amplify 4.0, and also making sure what's important for you and what's important for your customer. So sometimes we say employee first, customer second. Sometimes we say customer first, employee second. We just have to make sure that when we apply these cases, we apply ethics, we apply sustainability.